the resurrection happened. Jesus claimed to be God, then he died on the cross, and he proved it by rising from the dead. God died on the cross. That God who made the universe suffered that death because he loves us that much. That is the Christian message. That is worth believing. Now, if you ask me, Nabil, you had a perfect life, you had a family that loves you, you, had, you, had, you were becoming a doctor, you had, you had a good place in society, everything was great for you, was it worth it? Absolutely it was worth it. I would do it a hundred times over again. Today, my, mo- my mom and dad didn't come to my wedding. Every single time I see a video of a son dancing with his mother at his wedding, I have to think that it was worth it. Every time I see parents lovingly hug their children and say, we're proud of you, I have to think it was worth it. Because it was worth it. And if I have to die the same kind of death that Christ died in order to proclaim this message of hope to other people who are here, that would be the greatest honor I could ever have. You know, we sent one missionary per million Muslims into the rest of the world over the past few decades, and God looked at us and said, well, since you're not going, we're going to bring them here. And so he brought Muslims to Denver, Colorado. There's tons of them. And you are here. You, you, why, why didn't we go to heaven, right? Why didn't we go to heaven as soon as we became believers? God left us here for the specific purpose of loving others and leading them to Christ and sharing God's love with them and letting them know what it means to be loved by God. That is why we're here. That is why we're here. And God equips us to do that. And there's hope and purpose and peace and love in that. And that is the gospel. So 